This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi everyone, Ta here. Now, this is in Samsung's own words, but they state that the Galaxy Buds live case is a jewelry box inspired. And I gotta admit, it does give me that vibe. You got that super flashy mystic bronze color and now this? They're really trying to blur the lines between consumer tech and a fashion statement. The whole bean joke has been overused, so I will spare you all, but they're definitely an interesting shape that don't actually look that crazy once they're in your ears. The unique shape makes for a fun conversation starter and it's just a great way for Samsung to get the media buzzing and people talking about their new product. Ultimately, how they look means nothing if they don't fit. I was really skeptical at first. They just look like they wouldn't stay in, but somehow they do. I basically just drop the bottom in, then pop the top in place and they just rest there. And the curves in my ear sort of just cradles them. Because the speaker part is just at the bottom here, I found that if they are slightly rotated away from your ear holes, the sound quality suffers. So just make sure the speakers are actually facing your ears. I did try working out with them on, and although they never actually fell out, doing more dynamic workouts like burpees or jump squats, I could feel them sliding around a little bit, which I found distracting. Swapping to the larger wingtip does make it feel more secure, but not as good as earbuds with the silicone tip. You could use them, but these wouldn't be at the top of my list for working out. With that being said, these without a doubt are the most comfortable earbuds I've ever worn, and I think that's gonna be their main appeal. I'm not even joking with you. You could easily forget that you're wearing these. I just love how they feel. If you absolutely hate that suction cup feeling or get ear fatigue from silicone tips being jammed into your ears, these might be just what you need. Everyone's ears are different though, so I can see the fit being a mixed bag depending on who you talk to. Real quick though, I gotta give a huge shout out to Skillshare for making videos like this possible. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of videos posted by professionals to help you develop creative and practical skills. So whether your interest is in photography, music, graphic design, or maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel, you can find classes on all those topics and so much more. I've been really trying to improve the quality of my content by learning more about the basics of cinematography. Watching videos from Zal Mulligan on understanding filming styles has given me great insight on how I can improve as a content creator. I've always been a firm believer that creativity is the greatest form of self-care, and Skillshare has created a community just for that. Skillshare is also super affordable, with an annual subscription for less than $10 a month. But if you're among the first thousand to click my link below, you'll get a two month premium membership for free. So you can explore your creativity. You'll get six hours of listening on the earbuds and another 21 hours of reserve juice in the case for a total of 27 hours. Keeping active noise cancellation off, I was able to get quite a few extra hours. Charging is done wirelessly, or you can plug them in with a USB-C cable that's provided in the box. You've got the standard touch controls that I'll toss up on the screen with the option to set what a long tap does. Options include volume controls, A and C, launch a favorite Spotify playlist, or your phone's assistant. And yes, you can launch Google Assistant over Bixby. And on the iPhones, it activates Siri like you would expect. I do want to mention, because of the shape, I do get a lot of accidental touches when I'm taking them off or when I'm just trying to readjust them in my ears. When Samsung announced that these would have A and C and not have a seal of any sort, I think we were all eager to see what kind of magic they would pull off. If you were planning on buying these for the noise cancellation to use on a plane or something, I'm sorry to disappoint, but yeah, I don't think these are it. The seal is so important for blocking out ambient noise, and since they have none, these don't fare well. Wearing them on the street, they honestly didn't block out very much. It does cut down the hum from my ear purifier, but not by very much. Most other A and C earbuds I've tested handle that with no problem. In all fairness, Samsung does state that the A and C only cuts down on certain low frequencies. Unfortunately, most consumers are gonna see the A and C feature advertised on the box and come in with high expectations. The takeaway, I wouldn't buy these for the A and C feature. After initial testing, I've kept it off and enjoyed the extra battery life. 
I managed to get eight hours of listening straight over the weekend. So that's the win in my book. Sound quality is where things get interesting for me. The air vents and open design does let a lot of outside noise in, which is great for staying aware in public, but not ideal if you want to zone out at a coffee shop or something. It gives music a more airy and spacious feel when compared to sealed off earbuds. The sound is very comparable to the Galaxy Buds Plus, but they definitely punched up the bass on these. It's not overpowering or anything, but I do feel like you lose some of that clarity that I appreciate from the Buds Plus. For that reason, I found the clear setting in the equalizer to suit my ears more. If you enjoy a more mainstream sound with an emphasis on bass, I think you'll be very happy with how the Buzz Live sounds straight out the box. One thing you should definitely consider is how much the sound leaks to people around you. If you're a student who's planning on buying these to jam out to music while you're studying at the library, I would be careful unless you don't mind everyone around you enjoying your music too. Anything higher than 40 to 50% is going to be audible for someone sitting next to you. Okay, this wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't cover the mics or the call quality. Here's a sample of what someone would hear if you were talking to them with an actual phone. This is probably as good as it gets, uh, but this should serve as a good baseline. All right, let's hop on to the Buzz Live. All right, I'm now using the Galaxy Buzz Live. These come with three microphones, and Samsung sort of claims that they should offer the best in-class call quality. And supposedly, it can sense when your jaw is moving through vibrations and convert it to voice signals for better voice calls. Anyways, that's just a bunch of marketing talk. The bottom line, do these sound good? You guys be the judge, and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. This is a common question with wireless earbuds, but yes, you can use each earbud individually while the other is charging in the case. Switching between already paired devices seems to be a little quicker. I was able to jump between an iPhone and Galaxy phone with no real issues. There's this relief pressure setting in the labs menu that's sort of like a super low ambient mode to help with that plugged or stuffiness feeling. I actually like it a lot and leave it on. Connection has been solid. I did notice when watching YouTube, the video will sort of stutter behind for a second or so when I scrub it, but then catches up and is fine. Okay, so what's the verdict? These are definitely not perfect, but you know what? I actually really like them. The open design gives music a larger soundstage and keeps you aware of your surroundings, making them a good option for commutes. What really won me over is the comfort. I can wear these for hours at a time and not feel them. Bonus points because I can actually rest the side of my head on a pillow and have it still be comfortable. That's a first for me. As long as you don't care for the underwhelming active noise cancelling and they fit your ears, these are a solid pair of everyday earbuds. Now excuse me while I go pick up the Mystic Bronze because I'm having serious buyer's remorse going with the white ones.